Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Stewart Field for some Red Devils football. Today's matchup is the 100 Central Red Devils against the Hillsborough Raiders. I'm Nick Guzman alongside Scott Semanchek. Scott, now what can we expect from this matchup today? Well, we're seeing a 1-2 Central team going up against the 3-0 Hillsborough team. Central just coming off a, a tough loss to uh, Phillipsburg just this past week. And uh, Hillsborough, of course, still undefeated here. Uh, we're going to see a pretty offensive clash here. Both teams have a good running back. Uh, Central here with Azema and uh, Hillsborough with Sean Levinitis. And so it's going to be a tough matchup there against the two offenses. And it's going to be whoever has probably a better defense to prevail here. If Central wants to win this game, they're going to have to find a way to sh stop Sean Levinitis. He's got 470 yards rushing on the season, six touchdowns. He's the main weapon for this Hillsborough offense. So you got, like you said, Central's got a weapon of their own at running back in Will Azema. So the Red Devils, like you said, Scott, one and two. They came up opening night with that big win against Sayreville, highly ranked Sayreville. Two tough losses at home in the home opener against Ridge and then against Phillipsburg. Three very tough opponents. Yeah. The schedule for the Red Devils is only going to e get easier from here. Yeah, something I'll, a little notice is that Central has seen themselves going against tougher opponents starting off this year. Of course, Sayreville being his top, his top team in the state and then other teams like that. I should also mention it's homecoming night here at Stewart Field. That brings a whole other energy to this yeah. field with, this, with the students in this. In the, the student section is packed. It's a neon theme. It should be an electric atmosphere here today in a big game for the Red Devils. Yeah, of course, Red Devils want to get something back going after that Sayreville win a, a few weeks back. After a big win like that, they don't want to lose the rest of the season out. They want to try to keep it going, keep it running. Both teams shake hands after the coin toss. We're about set to go. I'm talking to two people, Joe. Sorry. Tell Sean that that little knob I got. Hillsborough, like you said, Scott, are three and zero, but. You know, I, like Co I was talking to Coach Ransone earlier this week, and he kind of mentioned that their caliber of opponents so far hasn't been at the same level as the Red Devils. But still, 3-0 is very strong. This is a very good Hillsborough team. It should be a tough test for the, for the Red Devils. Yeah, being able to go 3-0 in a season is pretty good. I mean, even if you're not playing against the best of teams, still being able to go consistently out and play a good game is huge. Also, Hillsborough's first, um, it's their first road game of the year. First three were all at home. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay, uh, I'll run down in a minute once we get going here. 100 Central will receive the opening kickoff. Big thing here last week was that uh, got Central off to a bad start was um, Stefan Derman, uh, Derman A uh, fumbled the first kickoff, and that really kind of set up the game for Central. And of course, Central doesn't want that again. So we're set to go here at Stewart Field, 300 Central Hills, Hillsboro. And we're underway. Line drive kick fielded at the five by the Red Devils. Still going out across the 30 yard line to the 32. Good return for 100 Central. Yeah, really we got our good. first look at the Red Devils offense. Yeah, really good start there. 
Already got their offense closing in on midfield. Taking it from the five. At 25, roughly 25 yard run there. So Brad Totten will lead this offense onto the field. After that opening win against Sarahville, it's been a tough going for the Red Devils offense. We'll see what they can do here. And to start, Todd's going to line up as a wide receiver, and it looks like it'll be a direct snap to Azema. It is a direct snap. Azema straight up the gut. Still moving, pushing the pile. Gain of maybe four. Second down. Yeah, as we were talking before, Azema is the top running back for this central team. And it's shown right there, not giving up off of that. Pushing through, getting a few more yards. Everything went right for Azema in week one. Weeks two and three, still good. Only 76 yards against Ridge, which is still a very respectable number. 86 yards against Phillipsburg. He's definitely been slowed down a little bit. Yeah, and that's a big thing coming off of week one, going and having this huge game against Sayreville. It really uh, it comes, it comes to other teams. Another direct snap to Azema. Running left, there's nothing there. He's going to get taken down for a loss. Yeah, not many blockers there, right as he got to the, right as he got to the edge. Three Hillsboro players just coming at him. Interesting, two direct snaps to his Emma to start the game with Totten lined up as a wide receiver on the right. You know, maybe Central's trying to try something different here. Trying to see what will work now with his Emma because having such a focus on him being running back, they just want to get something working. Now they'll resort to a more traditional formation. Totten's under center. Azem is the running back. Todd takes the snap. He's back to throw. Looking down this left sideline. Throws it back shoulder. Couldn't connect with Darren Mayer. Pass is incomplete. The three and out for the Red Devils in their opening possession. Yeah, just from that snap, Totten was looking directly over there and wanted that the whole time and maybe tried to force something there. Now Central will go for the punt it off. Chris Schwarz getting ready to kick it away for the Red Devils. Not the way they wanted to start on offense. It's a low snap. Zem Schwarz handles it, gets the punt away. It's going to take a 100 central roll. It's down at about the 23 yard line. That's where this Hillsborough offense will set up for the first time tonight. Yeah, a rough snap there, but a pretty good recovery and gained probably about 10, almost 10 yards just off the bounces. We were talking about this Hillsborough offense. You have to talk about number 24, Sean Levinitis. He's the star man, like we said earlier, 470 yards in three games, six touchdowns. Yeah, similar to with Azema is that Central's probably coming out here knowing they're seeing this and probably trying to focus on stopping him, like stopping that run game. Quarterback is number one, Tommy Ramsey. Ramsey takes the snap, throws a screen, getting a good gain as Hillsborough out across the 30. On the catch was Thomas Amonqua. Yeah, another one of Hillsborough's probably big offensive players. They like to go to him if they're not going over. Yeah, Monquas, their leading receiver, 178 yards and a touchdown on the year. Second down. Ramsey out of the shotgun, takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself, running right, cuts it upfield, close to a force first down, but stopped just short. Set up third down and short. Yeah, good stop there for Central, not, letting, not allowing that first first down of the game. Third and four now. They're going to give him the first down. They'll move the chain, so a fresh set of downs for Hillsborough. Looked very close. Give him the benefit of the doubt on the spot. So first and ten Hillsborough from the 35. That was a big run, especially from a quarterback today. You don't really see much of a running game from. Ramsey under center, takes the snap. It's an end around, around this left side, and cutting upfield for a first down. 
It was a Monqua on the carry. Gain of 12, first down Hillsborough. Yeah, already five plays in. We haven't seen a single run out to Levinitis yet. And Hillsborough is really focusing on a, not, uh, a Monqua. So first and 10 from the 47. Late substitution here for Hillsboro. Ramsey out of the shotgun, two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Takes the snap, hands it off up the middle. Levinitis with his first carry of the day. Gain of about eight, close to a first down. Hillsboro having some success moving the ball on the ground early. Yeah, of course, Hillsboro is going to try to run it as much as possible without risking any throws, and it's been pretty successful so far. So Hillsborough into 100 Central Territory. Ramsey fakes the handoff, running up the middle. First down and a lot more. Yeah, Across the 35 to the 33, first and 10 Hillsborough. Another big run there by Hillsborough. They're just working their way up the field. And Central really isn't, hasn't contested us much. Besides from that first set of downs. First and 10 Hillsborough, they're picking up the pace here. Ramsey throws the screen to the left side. Close to a first down and he will get there. Amonqua on the catch. Yeah, it's just a similar play to that as they started off the drive with. Now one a little more successful, getting a few more yards. Hillsborough moving at a fast pace early on. Central defense not getting a chance to catch their breath. First and 10 from the 21. Ramsey out of the shotgun, trips wide receivers to the left. Ramsey takes the snap up the middle. Gain of maybe three from Levinitis on his second carry. Yeah, that was a better run there. Uh, not exactly a, a huge run there by Hillsborough, but sometimes you don't always need those 10 yard runs just going through and trying something out. It seems to be an injury now. Yeah, central. central players down. Can't quite tell who that is. It's Luke Bakarian down. The fullback. He's being tended to. So far, Hillsborough Scott having a lot of success moving the ball. So yeah, they just possession. wanted up the field. Only had to really throw it twice, and those are screen passes. So really not many big plays. Uh, quick ways that Central can take it away with like an interception or something like that. And even with uh, Central's defenses, they're struggling a bit with just tackling. They're not stopping people. They're, they're hitting them, and then they're still get, uh, Hillsborough is still getting a few yards. We've seen so far Ramsey's ability to run. He's got more rushing yards this year than he has passing yards. 249 rushing yards, 231 passing yards. So a real dual threat at a quarterback for Hillsborough. Ramsey out of the shotgun, takes the snap, hands it up the middle, Levinitis. Quickly swallowed up by a swarm of central players. Yeah, that's more of the stop the central was looking for coming into this game. Stop the run game like that, you know, unlike how they started off. But it could possibly be too late, even if they stop in that fourth down. They'll be able to give up a potential field goal. But still, third down. Third and eight. Ramsey out of the shotgun. Takes the snap. He's back to throw. He's going to run it up the middle, but he's tackled by a central player. I'll bring up fourth down. And we'll see what the Hillsborough offense decides to do here. Yeah, a good way to end uh, that streak that Hillsborough had going so far, but. Still setting up a field goal here. It'll be Franklin Wasserman on the kick. Hillsbow will try to jump out to an early 3 0 lead. The snap is high. The kick from Wasserman has the distance, and it is straight through. So good kick by Wasserman with 5.36 to go here in the first. Hillsborough 
a solid opening drive, take a 3-0 lead over the Red Devils. Earlier this week, our Tom Robato caught up with a couple of Red Devils players. So take a look. You guys have uh, dropped your last two games. How are you guys looking to regroup after those two losses? Uh, we had a hard week of practice this week. Uh, after the game, we came together. We said, what do we got to do to get better? And uh, I think we really worked on that this week. So feeling good. Now you guys dropped your last two games. How are you guys looking to bounce back? All we got to do is focus. We could have won our last three games, but we just got to focus. We won the first one, lost the last two, because we just weren't focused. So Franklin is set to kick it away. High kick down to about the goal line. Running straight up the middle is the Red Devils. Tackling about the 30 yard line. Another solid return by Central. Yeah, uh, similar return and kick as it was to start the game. And almost at the same spot. About 32. So the central offense trots back out on the field for their second possession of the game. First one was a three and out. Brad Totten is under center. Zem is the tailback. First and 10 from the 32. Totten, handoff to Zemma, running left, looking to bounce to the outside. He does, gets to the edge, and he's pushed out of bounds at about the 36 yard line. Gain of four. Yeah, of course, Central really focusing on that run game with Azema. Had some success so far. They tried in the first two plays a wildcat formation with Azema taking the direct snap, but nothing really worked there for them. So now back to a more traditional offensive look. Totten again under center. Takes a snap, a flag is thrown. Like it'll be offsides on Hillsborough and a free five yards for the Red Devils. Yeah, anything like that could help the Red Devils here. Now cutting it down. Second and five is a little more promising for any play to get there. Sorry. Roughly. It'll be second and short, about a yard. Less than a yard. Yes, one ending great before that first down marker. Oh. Totten's under center. Takes a snap, handoff to Zemma. Running left, breaks a tackle, he's in the open field. Across the 40 to the 35. Wrapped up by Hillsborough at about the 32 yard line. First big run of the day for Willis Zemma. Yeah, that's what's going to happen with Central. They just like to, they're just going to keep running it, not getting anything get down on them, and get a run like that every once in a while from the Zemma. Crossing over now to Hillsborough side of the field. It'll be first and 10 from the 32. The I formation, Totten takes the snap. Another flag is thrown a little bit. Looks like it'll be another offsides call on Hillsborough. Another free five yards for the Red Devils. Yeah, Hillsborough's just really trying to jump the snap. Maybe just get the timing wrong. That's already quick 10 yards only in one drive that Central didn't even have to work for. We first and five. Nashawn Jones is the wide receiver on the left. Jacob Erb on the right. Totten under center. Zem is the tailback. Totten takes the snap, fakes the handoff from Zem. He's going to keep it. Running left. Breaks free to the 20 to the 10 to the goal line. And they're going to say he stepped out of bounds at the five yard line. Great run there, especially for somebody like Ty, who really isn't known for being a big running quarterback, scrambler quarterback. Trying to just get through there and just one misstep, barely out of bounds. So first and goal for 100 cents from the five. 
The big run by Totten. They look to cash in here. Totten under center. There's two full backs, and Zemma's the tailback. Totten takes the snap. Hand off to Zemma. He's got blockers. He pushes his way forward. Touchdown, Hunter and Central. They take the lead. Will is Emma. That's a huge story there, especially off our letting up only uh, letting up only a field goal earlier and getting that lead now seven or six three right now. So Zemma's eighth touchdown of the year. Chris Schwartz on for the extra point. Good snap, good hold, the kick is blocked. So it'll just be the six to three lead for the Red Devils. That was something we saw a lot during the preseason. Was Central getting a few of their kicks blocked. Nevertheless, a good drive for the Red Devils. They got a Zemma going. They had the good run by Totten. Very positive series for the Red Devils, ending in a score. The Red Devils are trying to, to do tonight is really reverse a lot of the history that's been going on the last few years. Hillsborough has been dominant over the Red Devils. The last two visits to Stewart Field, they've won by a combined margin of 77 to 6. The last time the Devils beat the Raiders in Flemington was back when Jason Cabinda was on the Red Devils in 2013. And that was that was a really, really, really good team back then. And that kid Cabinda rushed for 131 yards, two touchdowns, and a 24-21. Central victory. That was a state championship year. That was still roughly six years ago. Central trying to reverse some of that history here tonight. And going from a, a running back like Cabinda, like they had with their last win, now a running back like Azema this year. Schwar gets set to kick it away. It bounces at the 10, fielded by Hillsborough, cutting up field, sworn by a gang of 100 Central players at the 15-yard line. There's nothing there for Anthony Scanelli on the return. So Hillsborough will start deep in their own territory. Yeah, 16-yard 16 uh, 16 yard line. Not at all the return they wanted. That was a big thing. You just uh, return. You just sat back on it. And footballs are weird like that. It's just their shape of you don't know where you're going. And took a bit of an odd bounce on him. They just swallowed up early. Here comes Hillsborough for their second series. They move the ball well in their first, but the central defense they bend, but they don't break. Hand off here on first down. Ramsey's going to keep it actually. Fight his way forward for a gain of about seven. Second down. Yeah, already we're seeing this run game battle between the two teams. Again, Hillsborough going quickly in the no huddle. Ramsey takes the snap on second down, hands it off. Out across the first down marker is Levinitis. First down, Hillsborough. Really fast tempo offense here from Hillsborough, moving, trying to tire out the central defense. Especially with only a short run game, you're not really having your offense run too much. First and 10, Ramsey goes back to that screen. Anakwa on the catch. Gain of about six. Tried that play three times now. Second down. Yeah, the screen passes have really been the only completion so far in this game. We had another one from Hillsborough, which ended up running and then central the incompletion. That's all we're seeing as we see another one now. On second down, Ramsey finds his receiver on the slant out to about midfield. It's Matt Missionard on the catch. Even so first and 10, Hillsborough. Even on that, we're still seeing this no huddle offense. Ramsey's going to keep it himself, running left, cuts up field, he's got a big hole across the first down marker into Hillsborough territory to about the 40-yard line. Yeah, Jacob Erb, the, the safety this game being replaced in 
as Central's past uh, safeties haven't been best at health. That one tripping him up and getting it. That handoff to Levinitis goes nowhere. No gain. Second down. Yeah, the two safeties starting today for Hunter Central are Jacob Irvin, Foreman Quintero. Neither of them were starting at the beginning of the year. Jacob Stetson and Miles Hickey both going down injured. Stetson with a broken hand. Hickey with a broken thumb. Yeah, Irvin, of course, being primarily a receiver, or at least has, has been a receiver for this Central team. Being a safety, kind of just be at the end of the hands then. Ramsey out of the shotgun, takes the snap on second down. He's under pressure. He's going to shovel it. Nobody there, though. That'll bring up third down and long. Yeah, good pass rush from Central. Not giving him much time back there. A 148 to go here in the first quarter with Central on top, 6-3. to three. Third and long for Hillsboro from the 40. Ramsey's out of the shotgun. First, a timeout will be called by Hunter and Central, trying to talk things over on defense for this crucial third down. Yeah, it seemed seemed uh, before they even play uh, before the play, Central is a bit off with their uh, linemen. They're kind of shuffling around, figuring out where they want to go. Central oh, probably just wants to talk over how it's going, where how they want their defense to be set. They're coming out of the timeout, it'll be third down and ten. Ramsey's out of the shotgun. Levinitis is to his left. Third and ten. Ramsey takes the snap. He's back to throw. Under pressure, throws it to left on the check down and across the first down marker to the 25 yard line for Hillsboro. Fresh set of downs for the Raiders. Like there was an initial wave from pressure there from the Red Devils, but Ramsey was able to keep his composure and step up in the pocket and find the check down. Again, they move fast. First and ten. Ramsey hands it up the middle. Levinitis squeezes through a couple of tackles close to the first down marker. Yeah, Game of about seven. Yeah, we saw a couple of central linemen get through. They just weren't able to grab Levinitis, and he just continued through. Second and five from the 19 as we trickle down to a minute to go in this first quarter. Ramsey out of the shotgun, takes a snap, throws right on the screen to the 10 yard line. Gang tackled by a group of central players is Thomas Amanqua. Another one of those screens that we saw, we've been seeing all game now. So first and 10 for the Raiders. Hills right now, seven. First and goal here. On both for possessions, Hillsborough's had a lot of success moving the ball. And for once, we're seeing a Hillsborough team a little slow getting ready on offense. First and goal from the seven. Ramsey under center this time, takes the snap. He keeps it running right across the five through about the four. That will most likely take us to the end of the first quarter. The Red Devils on top for now, 6-3. to three. Yeah, Hillsborough probably just waiting this one out as we now end the first quarter here. The end of one, it's 100 Central 6 on the touchdown by Zema. Hillsborough 3, but Hillsborough threatening now with second and goal. You're watching Red Devils football on HCTV and listening on WCVH.
So if you're Coach, Coach Ransone, Scott, are you satisfied with this opening quarter? I'd say a bit, but not as much with your defense. They're really allowing a lot of a lot of those, a lot of ten yard runs, seven yard runs, which you really want to be able to shut down. They had a chance there, third and ten, to get a stop, and it just got through. But uh, offensively, besides that first drive, Central's offense has had nothing terrible going on. Their run game's working as they want it to, and as we were talking before, with them focusing on Azema so much. If you focus that Azema run game so much, they're not going to expect these other things like Totten being able to run. He brought a lot, almost getting a touchdown there uh, earlier. It's a certain narrative, similar narrative with Hillsborough. If you focus too much on Levinitis, the quarterback Ramsey's going to keep it, and you're going to get burned. The Central have a couple times. Yeah, they really haven't been uh, too afraid to show that Ramsey is able to run, and that now it's that dual threat back there both Levinitis and Ramsey, and then occasionally they'll throw it out to Inakwa. Second and goal from the four. Ramsey's under center. Man in motion. Takes the snap. He's going to hand it off to Levinitis. There's nothing there, though. No gain on the play. That'll set up third and goal. A huge stop there. Not allowing anything. Hey, he saw that. Levinitis saw that early. You ready as he got it? Just put his back to the line and try to keep the ball. I'd say so far Central did a good job containing Levinitis, one of the elite rushers in the state. He's had a few good carries, but for the most part, Central has been pretty good defending against him. Yeah, he's more of the danger. Not, he's not Levinitis, but Ramsey this game. So big third and goal from the four. Out of the eye formation, man in motion. They're going to pitch it to the right to Levinitis. Cuts up the middle, and he hits a wall. Central players to the two-yard line. Levinitis had a head of steam, but the central defense held firm. Fourth and goal from the two. Yeah, good cutback there. Almost had a chance there and just hit a wall and just hit, knocked down. Seems Hillsborough might just stay out there and go for it on fourth. Well, the offense is staying on the field. It's the biggest play of this game so far. Fourth and goal from the two. From the three, sorry. I mean, Again, you're risking. You either got a touchdown here or you're giving the ball up, and now Central has it on the two. Ramsey under center. Takes the snap. Fakes the pitch to Levinitis. He's running left. There's nothing there. Central stopped them on fourth down. Huge stop there. He's got right through the defense. They'll take over on downs. Oh, Jacob Erb there runs right through. I'm sorry, I should say. Quintero uh, there. Also another person who isn't their average safety. He went right through the line and got to the quarterback quick. That probably helps Central a bit as that tur uh, turnover on downs. Boosts them over to about the seven now instead of the three which is uh, would be a huge danger, maybe a, a little more relaxed now for Central. It's a huge stop for the Red Devils. Like you said, Quintero, the fill in safety, but you wouldn't notice he's a fill-in based on that play that you just made. That was an elite level tackle. So Central will start deep in their own territory. Todd's going to throw. He has Nashawn Jones over the middle. Can't quite make the play, though. It'll be second down. Yeah, just off the hands there. A quick caught Hillsborough off guard. He probably could have gotten a few yards, uh, probably about 12 yards off of that one, and just threw his hands and got hit quick. The central offense, the first week they were really pounding the football against Sayreville. Second week it was a lot of passes from Brad Todd, but it seems in this game they've really struck a balance. Second and seven, hand off to Azem. He's got a head of steam, he's running up the middle. Azem breaks it free across the 30. He cuts out of bounds and about the 35 yard line. Big game from Azema. 28 yards. And that's 7 to the 35. Huge run there. Couldn't really see him for a second there after they handed it off and he just broke free. And that two on one just was able to run him out. He had a, he had a lot of room after that. So first and 10, Hunter and Central. From the 36, Cotton under center, takes a snap, fakes the handoff to Azema, looking right. They're throwing over the middle of the field. 
looked like maybe the jersey of Darren Mayer was being held on the incomplete pass, but no flag, second down. Yeah, off that play action, Todd looking for Herb right out of it, and couldn't find him, so they decided to go to Mayer, and just pass a bit off. And we see both Herb and Mayer come off the field. That is it a second and 10, still here in about the 36. Mayer Pond. on the right. Pond under center. Left. Takes the snap, hands off to his Emmer. Running right, he's got a big hole. Cross midfield, Will is Emmer to the 40. Finally brought down at the 35 yard line. Another huge run by Will is Emma. Centrals into, well into Hillsborough territory. Yeah, not sure if this is Azema warming up or Hillsborough wearing down a bit. But that's now already two huge runs in a row for Azema. Whenever he gets a full head of steam, you get excited. So first and 10 central from the 34. And that two in a row of about 30, or roughly 30 yard runs for Azema. As a timeout here by Central. A bit of confusion personnel-wise, because Central, a lot of momentum right now. Not sure why you want to stop that with a timeout. Yeah, not many at that moment going. I mean, two huge plays, a, a few faults on offense, but nothing that you, can, you can't wait on. I'm sure what they could be talking about. So the Red Devils will talk things over. Make sure we don't go on. Tom change and act doesn't have a ball. I don't think that they have a ball. All right. Sean, uh, do you have a battery down there? Coming out of the timeout, first and 10 from the 34. 9.37 to go in the first half. New receiver on the right here. Oh, and Billy, I haven't seen him much this game. Totten under center, takes the snap, fakes the handoff. He's going to keep it as he runs right. Cross the 25, big gain. First down, out to about the 20 yard line. And almost the exact same play we saw earlier in the game. And almost a similar, a similar place, too. And like we said before, Zem is moving the ball. Focus too much on his Emma. They take it with him, go with Totten, and another big game. In a similar formation again. First and 10 from the 22. Totten under center. Takes snap, hands it off to his Emma. Running left, he bounces it to the outside. Tries to. Gain of about three to the 19. Second and seven. Yeah, a similar play there, and that one just off to his Emma. Emma tried to break the one tackle. And Hillsborough was just holding on. He was eventually able to drag him down. Second down. Jones and Bill are the receivers. Check that Herb. Todd looking right for Herb. He finds him. Nice gain there for Central. First catch of the day for Jacob Herb. Yeah, Herb, one of Central's primary receivers. And not just as in they use him a lot, but Cotton seems to like him a lot too as his number one receiver. So it's first and goal from the Red Devils from the 10 as Luke attack onto their lead. Herb wide to the left, Jones to the right. Cotton under center. Takes a snap, hands it off to his Emma. Hesitates. Fights forward to about the six yard line. Yeah, you can see as Emma was trying to wait for something to be open and the Hillsborough player was almost on the ground. They snagged onto his leg and dragged him down there for some game. The second and goal from the six. Same personnel out there for the Red Devils. Totten takes the snap. Fakes the handoff to his M. He's running right. Fights his way towards the goal line. He's tackling about the two. So that'll set up third down and goal. 
think you saw it there too, even when uh, Totten pulls with it, still sometimes getting those outside Hillsborough players still running out of Zemma. And he got one on that, one, one Hillsborough player on that, and tried to power through there. It's as fluid as, I, as I've seen this Red Devils offense since the first week against Sayreville. They just look smooth on offense. Doesn't matter who has the ball. So third and goal from the two. Tali now on the left. Going Direct snap to Zemi. It's a bad snap. He's able to field it. Running right, there's nothing there though. It's going to be tackled about the 12. So they tried the Wildcat formation, but the snap was bad as Zemi couldn't field it. And Schwarr will come out for a field goal attempt. Yeah, trying again, just catch that Hillsboro uh, uh, defense off guard and a bad snap just messes up that whole play. They tried the Wildcat on the first two plays of their first possession in the first quarter. It didn't work, but they decided to try and go back to it here. Again, it was not successful. So Schwarr's on for the field goal. The snap is good, the kick is blocked. This can be returned. Here come Hillsboro the other way. Down the sideline, across the 40 to the 50. To the 40, Todd's 30, Todd trying, trying to tackle him to the 20. Todd will Does push him out of bounds in the 13. What a turn of events here. One that second central has first and goal of the two. The Wildcat formation play doesn't come off. The blocked kick and a huge return by Hillsborough. Yeah, pretty good play there though by Tawin being quarterback. Not really getting much action there. Being able to run him down across the field. Of course, still blocked field goal, not at all what they wanted there. That's one of those sequences that we'll look back on at the end of this game as a, as a real turning point. Looks like they're going to move him back, though. I'm not sure what it could have been here. So it looks like the block kick, the return is not going to count. So all that for nothing, and Hillsborough will start in their own territory. Yeah, I'm sure it would be the call there because, of course, field goal is fair play. Now that that good field position now just brings it back to 25. So first to 10 Hillsborough from their own 25 after the block field goal. Ramsey's under center. Takes the snap, hands it off to the man in motion. Running on this near side, looking for a hole. Finds a gain of maybe three yards. Second and seven. I mean, that has to be a, a bit of, a bit heartbreaking for Hillsborough having, having a run like that going all the way down and getting pulled all the way back. Well, the Raiders offense have moved the ball well in the first two um, possessions. They just haven't been able to finish. They got the field goal in the first one. And the big goal line stand by the Red Devils on their second possession. So second and five. Hand off to the right side. Sworn by a group of central players, no game. Yeah, it seems like this central team's almost warming up overall as a team. Offensively, they've been rolling the ball pretty well. And now defensively, they've been getting a few, uh, a few good stops here. It's Levinitis on the carry. I'll set up third down and five. Those are taking their time a little bit more in this possession as opposed to the fast pace that we saw earlier. Ramsey's under center. Man in motion, takes the snap. Rolling left, has his receiver. He's not, get, he's not gonna get to the first down marker though. They're gonna throw a flag. Seems to be on central here. He was short of the marker, but the flag is thrown. Coach Red Stone is hot. Though we are seeing that a bit, just as Coach Red Stone in general seems to be one of those louder coaches that likes to be on it. They're saying that one actually against Hillsborough. It's a foul on Hillsborough. So that's now bringing him back again. It's a From personal probably foul. A third, foul. A, a third and one, two. Third and 15. Um, 
Central's going to accept the penalty. Not sure if he got to the first down marker. Yeah, of course, any kind of big penalty, like a personal foul or anything like that, is a is a huge loss for whatever team. This will set up third down and 16. Hillsborough at their own 18. Central not immediately set up, but Hillsborough also seems to be in no rush to capitalize on it. The Ramsey's out of the shotgun. Calls the man in motion on third down and 16. He's going to fake the handoff to Levinitis. He's looking downfield. He's going to escape out of the pocket. Close to a first down marker. Might just short. I'm not sure where he went out. Could have potentially got it. No, it looks, yeah, the right sky looks like he got it. Let's see if they give it to him here. Haven't moved the change, chains yet. It's hard to see from our vantage point where the ball is spotted. It looks like it's just shy of the 35. This brings up another. Looks like the referee's asking for a measurement. Yeah, even if it is short, and this brings up another dilemma for uh, Hillsborough as to go for it on this fourth and inches or just punch it off. We'll get the measurement here. It's, it will be close no matter what. We'll see what the call is. There and it is a first, first down. down. So on third and 16, Ramsey was able to scramble out of the pocket. The Central will definitely be disappointed on their defense on that play. Yeah, allowing they, a very talented running quarterback to escape out of the pocket like that. Yeah, they seem so, their, their head seems so much on, on that, on the pass that they, they weren't even ready for that run and he had so much room to get that first down. So first and 10, Hillsborough from the 35. Man in motion, Ramsey hands it off. Levinitis looking for a running lane. Tackled by a group of central players. Maybe for a loss of one. You know, I've seen this a lot. You know, at least against the run game. Such has been tuned to pretty well. Now, Hillsborough player down. Number 64, Thomas Haber, who's down for the Raiders. Looks like he's able to get up and jog off the field. We inch towards the end of the first half here. 3.49 to go. 6.300 Central. The second lead Hillsboro. From the 37, Ramsey under center. Man in motion, handoff to the man in motion, running left. And he's not going to get anywhere. Big loss on the play. Monqua was on the carry. Now set up third and long. Yeah, being an outside run, uh, outside handoff like that, is either you're gonna get a, a good cut in and get 10 yards, or you're probably not gonna get anything or held behind the line like this. That was actually a huge loss. Now third and 17, similar to what we just saw earlier, third and 16. I think Central's going to make sure they don't ma make that mistake again. From their own 30, it's third and long. Tommy Rams this time's out of the shotgun. Low snap, able to handle it. Back to throw. He's scrambling again. He's not going to get anywhere near the first down marker, though. Donahue was in on the tackle. 
That'll set up fourth down for Hillsborough. They'll bring the punting unit out onto the field. So again, Ramsey was able to escape this time. It's well chased down by the central defensive line. Um, Luke Picari and ran through and, and really put the pressure on the quarterback there. Seems fine from earlier, his injury earlier. Seems fine now. So Franklin's ready to punch. Good snap. It's a low line drive kick. Darren Mayer's back deep to receive. He'll let that one roll out of bounds at about the 21 yard line. That's where we will see the central offense. 2.28 to go. Last two possessions for the Red Devils been very good. Last possession they drove down all the way to the two yard line. And they just got unlucky there with that last drive. The botch snap on the Wildcat play to Azema and then the block kick by Shore. Which could have been so much worse, but the return on the block kick was not allowed to stand. Hey, it seems like so far in this game, there really isn't much wrong that Central's doing offensively. Totten under center, takes the snap, hands it off left to Azema, fights his way forward for maybe a gain of two. Second and long. And a player's down for Hunter Central. Is that Will Azema? This is Azema. It's not a good sight if you're a Hunter Central fan. Yeah, it seems so far. They are, they're unsure what they're going to do. He had some injury problems last year. Held him out for about half a season. He's been healthy so far this year. This is not a good sight. Yeah, this is, of course, a big thing. As I've seen a lot uh, in the past few years. And I did see on that play, he did seem a bit uncomfortable with the legs, and that seems to be his right leg, right calf area right now. It doesn't seem very light. Now, a big thing that Sajal needs to do is find a replacement for Azema. He changes the whole dynamic of the offense if he's not able to continue or if he has to sit out for a few series. Yeah, being able to go and constantly rely on Azema as a, as a top running back. Yep, we see now is struggling a bit to get up, not wanting to put weight on that on that right foot, kind of hobbling off. Unsure if we'll really see much from him. And it seems to be the replacement of Mario and Jones. And we'll see if Central will keep with the offense that they have now or change to more of that pass offense. So Jones now is the tailback. Totten under center, fakes the handoff, looking to throw over the middle. He has an open Jacob Herb. He's going to try and cut it back across the field. He's still going across the 40. Herb tackled at about midfield. Big game for Jacob Herb. His second catch of the day. A big thing there. I feel like as a coach, you kind of have to have, to have your defense expect that pass game, especially off, of, uh, off that injury. And it... Totten was just able to find an open herb there, and he had a, a huge gain going across the field. 144 to go. Central at the 50-yard line, looking to add on to their lead. Totten's back to throw. Threw a little bit low, but it's dropped by Nashawn Jones. Yeah, Nashawn Jones not having too great of a game for his catches. Uh, second one dropped already. But he has only had two opportunities, so can't really judge much on that. So Marion Jones now, who's the tailback. Bruce Washington, who's the second string throughout the season, is not dressed tonight. Yeah, I'm unsure why that might be, if it's any kind of discomfort and he just wasn't feeling. Second and 10, play. Totten back to throw. Throws, he's got his man. It's Darren Mayer for a first down across the 35 yard line. Yeah, it seems like although Central doesn't go to this pass game much, so far these past few plays has been working well for them. And they've been getting quickly upfield. That will stop the clock with 1.30 to go.
First and 10 from the 34. Four receivers out now. The trips wide to the right. Totten takes the snap, throws left, pass is complete. Nashawn Jones on the reception. Gain of about six. The clock will keep ticking under a minute 20 to go here in the first half. Yeah, seems to be going no huddle formation. Maybe trying, trying the same play. Second and four, Totten scrambling, throws right, has his receiver for a first down. Darren Mayer on the catch again, central in the no huddle. Clock will stop momentarily on the first down. He's back running again. Totten out of the shotgun. And he's trying to see running across the field because he's unsure. Totten of under pressure. Ducks forward. He has some running room. Gets it about about the 15 yard line. That was a big block there by Irv. Helped Totten get a few more yards there. Khan showing some elusiveness in the pocket. Yeah, it's for really the first time we see we've seen him scramble and not just have a designated run play. It really shows his awareness in the pocket. So second and five from the 16, 45 seconds to go. Will Azema is checked back into the game for the Red Devils. Trips left on this one. Let's see if Central will go with Azema or if they'll just keep him as a threat. Totten out of the gun. Back to throw. Looks over the middle. The pass is low and incomplete. Set up third down. Yeah, not much receivers could have done there. As that was just right near the right, right to the ground. So big third down here, Central up 6-3. Under 40 seconds to go here in the first half. Third and five, only two, or two of the receivers on the left are covered. They're gonna run a draw to Azema. Interesting call there. Nothing really there for Azema to run through. He set up fourth down. Taking with a play like that, Zemma's not feeling too terrible after the injury. And Zemma again is hobbling off the field. Maybe he's not in the best shape. You have to you. question why they didn't just wait until after halftime to evaluate him. Yeah, especially with it being so close now. Mainly going to be passing plays anyway with the clock winding down in the first half. Yeah, with even with, with the Zemma back there, I feel like Central wouldn't want to pass it much, or wouldn't want to run it much with him barely being able to walk here. And then even with uh, their backup of Marion Jones, who hasn't really gotten much time in, you're not going to want to run it with him much either. So we'll see what the Red Devils do here on fourth and five. They're going to keep the offense on the field. Zemma's checked out, and Marion Jones is checked back in, a tailback. This choice is probably mainly because it, there's 28 seconds left in this half, so if you do give it up, now the, Hillsborough has the entire field to go in just 20 seconds. So fourth and five from the 16. Totten out of the shotgun. Takes a snap. He's under pressure. He's going to roll right. Throws into the end zone. Touchdown! He's on the last Owen Bill there. Owen Bill a touchdown catch with 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Cotton rolled out to his right, buyed himself some time, threw it up, and Owen Bill, the sophomore, is there on the touchdown catch. Central extends the lead to 12 3. Yeah, he played there mo uh, both by Bill and we saw from Totten being able to get out of that and then finding that spot and hitting it. That was right in the chest there for Owen Bill. And now Central trying for an extra point here. They already went over for two here with two blocks. That one close, that one's right through the middle. Good kick by Schwarr. 13 to three Central. Now 20 seconds left here. So somewhat of a gamble there on fourth down and five, not settling for the field goal. Pays off big for Coach Ransom and the Red Devils. Yeah, usually they're not settling 
not settling for a field goal or even just a first down. They were going for the touchdown that whole way. Yeah, not much time for Hillsborough to really get much going. With now just 20 seconds left as Central goes out to kick it. Hillsborough will get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, that's three offensive possessions in a row that have been very successful for the Red Devils. They've moved the ball well. They're passing with the Zemma out of the game. They show they can throw the ball with Totten. Yeah, starting off that first quarter and really showing the run game off and then the tragedy with the Zemma there getting hurt and they still showed that there's still something to mess with with their, with their passing game on point. So Schwar will kick it away. Fielded around the goal line. They're going to hand it off, and it's fumbled. But Hills was able to pick it up, and now they're running deep down the sideline. So across the 40, across the field, he's going to go all the way. What a return by Hillsborough. Touchdown Raiders with five seconds to go in the second half. It looked like Central was going to have a double, have a 10 score, 10 point lead going into the second half. They ran the reverse on the kickoff. He was fumbled at first. That's something there you'll see. Even with punts that uh, sometimes that are fumbled up, it really just collects the defense in that one, one spot and he was able to find the hole and cut right through. Not exactly probably what Hillsborough was, wanted or clearly what Central wanted, but it turns out in Hillsborough's favor. It looks like Central's going to have a chance to jump on that football for a second, but it was picked up and then immediately taken all the way down the sideline. So Hillsborough, who received the kickoff in the second half, have gotten themselves back within a score. Wasserman on the extra point. Snap is high. The kick is straight through. So it's 13-10, to 10, Red Devils. Not at all the way Central wanted it to end. They had 20 seconds left. They expected it to just be an easy end. Hillsborough showing that they're not done yet and just pulled that out. This is about the least satisfied you can be with a three-point lead going into halftime against a very good Hillsborough team. Because it should be more. Pulled with the kicking game from Central with already two blocks, two block kicks. And of course that kickoff. Probably, probably two of the quickest scores I've, I've seen just right out, off the bat. Now just five seconds left. We'll see if Central would like to end it with just a lane. But we'll see what they can get off of this kickoff first. So Hillsborough will kick it away with five seconds to go here in the first half. See a squib kick right into the gut of that central player. That could have been very dangerous. That could have been Hillsborough ball. Yeah, that went right, right into him and didn't seem to really expect it much. If Hillsborough jumped on top of that, other than their their football. That was Jake Besser there. See more, more to be the, that blocker there, and got a surprise with that one. Now, a, a bit of a risk, I feel like, for, for Hillsborough, because if you can't get off, they had a chance of running the clock out. But now we'll see Central up. They'll just take a knee here to end it off. Central in the kneel down formation. Todd will take it in. That'll take us to the end of the first half. It's the 100 Central Red Devils 13, the Hillsborough Raiders 10. Very exciting first half. You're watching Red Devils football on HGTV. You're listening on WCVH. We'll see you back here for the start of the second half. Our second nominee is Joey Kleiner. Our third nominee for King is James Semeca. Yeah. 
Our fourth nominee for King is Brett Shaw, number 28. And our final nominee for King is Vikram Vijan. Vikram Vijan is our final nominee for King tonight. And our nominee for Queen, Kate Amabile. Our second nominee for Queen is Katie Bristol. Our third nominee for Queen is Bridget Gum. Our fourth nominee for Queen is Sydney Roslavsky. Sydney Roslavsky. And our final nominee for Queen is Caroline Waters. Once again, nominees for King tonight are Grant Block, Joey Kleiner, James Semeca, Bradshaw, and Vikram Vijan. And nominees for Queen are Kate Amabile, Katie Bristol, Bridget Gum, Sydney Razlowski, and Caroline Waters. And drum roll, please. Drum roll. This year's homecoming king for 2019 is Joey Kleiner. Congratulations, Joey. And our homecoming queen for 2019 is Kate Amabile. Kate Amabile is your 2019 homecoming queen. Congratulations to all the nominees. Congratulations to you all. And once again, this year's homecoming uh, cake for 2019 is Joey Kleiner. And your queen is Kate Amabile.
second half, Hunter Central Red Devils and the Hillsborough Raiders. The Red Devils with a 13 to 10 lead in the second half. Scott, what can we expect? Yeah, well, uh, Hillsborough is coming out in this one, starting off with the ball. Uh, but some big news is uh, for Central is Azema in that first half getting an injury. They put him in near the end, uh, but uh, Azema just de didn't seem the same. So we'll see how Central likes to resp how Central will respond to that, keeping him in, putting in Amarion Jones. Uh, we'll see when it's their time. But uh, of course, uh, Hillsborough also coming off the end of that fir uh, that first half with a huge a huge kick return that made it this 13 to 10 uh, lead and really cut Central's down back down to three. Now, all the momentum was in 100 Central's favor before that kickoff, about 20 seconds left in the second half. 
Now it's back in Hillsborough's favor. The Red Devils will kick it away with Chris Schwarer. The yeah, big thing we've seen with both teams was running. Both teams ran the ball a ton. Central ended up stopping a bit, but that was mainly because they didn't have Zema. And uh, they, they didn't really want to trust the ball probably in Jones' hands as much. And so they threw it, and they, they showed that they still had that passing game secured. So Schwer will kick. Scanelli and Amonqua are back deep for Hillsborough. Good kick by Schwer. Amonqua will field it at about the five. Cuts forward to the 20. Still going out across the 30-yard line. That's where Hillsborough's offense will set up. Yeah, similar to returns that we saw from Central in the first half. Those big 25-ish yard returns to get now Hillsborough into a pretty good position to start off this half. First and 10 from the 31. Another thing we'll be seeing from Central here, or from Hillsborough, is how they're going to run their offense. They started off the game being a very fast-paced offense, not uh, going no huddle a lot, and then near the end they kind of slowed it down. We'll, we'll see how they prefer to do it in this half. Ramsey out of the shotgun, hands it off to Levinitis. Running, running right, he has some room out near the 40-yard line. Gain of about eight, <coughs> maybe nine. Second and short. Yeah, pretty good starting run for Levinitis. Sorry to get shut down near the end of that first half from cent by Central. And a pretty good way to start this half. On second and one, it's Levinitis again on the carry. Close to a first down across the 40. It doesn't seem like they get it from how well, these refs are calling it. Seems just short. All right, Scott, it'll be third down in inches. Out of the shotgun. Ramsey hands it off. Levinitis. Running right, he's through the hole. Across the 50 to the 40. 30. Tackled at about the 20 yard line by Jacob Erb. Huge gain by Levinitis, his biggest run of the day. And Hillsborough's in business early in the second half. Yeah, really busting into the open there. Had three defenders there following him as he just ran through and got down back to now the 20. You know, they call it more 19 area. They go quick. Ramsey back to throw. Scrolling out to the left. He has a first down and more across the 10. Out at around the five yard line. First and goal, Hillsborough. Yeah, Ramsey uh, has already proven that he, he can run a lot. And not the exact plan there, but scrambling out and getting even closer. Now seems to be about four yards away. First and goal from the five. Ramsey out of the shotgun. He's going to keep it himself, running left, looking for the corner. He won't get there. Out at about the two yard line, second and goal. This Hillsborough offense has come out rolling so far in the second half. Yeah, hu huge run here. Hillsborough is trying to get back on top in this game. Second and goal for the Hillsborough Raiders. From the two, a flag is called. It's going to be too many men on Hillsborough. Yeah, they're trying to get something there. Maybe a, mis uh, a little bit of miscommunication. It just wasn't in time. This will pull back Hillsborough a bit. A five yard penalty, so second and goal from the seven now instead of the two. So Hillsborough look to take the lead here early in the second half. Now, even this five yards just really changes the play call for both teams. When you're two yards away, you're probably thinking a quick little run up the middle. This really gives opportunity for anything. We'll see. Eventually, Ramsey will run it again. Maybe I'll hand it off. Another, another flag is thrown. I'm sure what this one is. Seems to be. Looks like it's going to be encroachment on the Red Devils. That's bringing it right back. Canceling out. 
So the penalty's canceled. It'll be second goal from the two again. When we talked with Coach Ransone earlier this week. He was talking about these little mental mistakes. Against a team like Hillsborough, you catch a break on the five-yard penalty and you give it right back. Yeah, so far we haven't really seen much from Central giving up mentally, but this is just one hiccup they've had. And they got to make sure it doesn't lead to any more. It seems like Hillsborough's game plan is quick through the field until they get probably about red zone area, and then they start slowing it down. Second and goal. Man in motion, Ramsey. Back to throw, he has a man over the middle. Touchdown, Hillsborough, they take the lead. Yeah, that one just a slant route right down to the middle of the field. Herb was trying to track him down, couldn't get there in time, ran right into the, the ref there in the end zone. But it really wouldn't make too much of a difference there. So Hillsborough take advantage of getting possession in the second half. They take the lead. It looked like Central would have a 10 point lead going into halftime. Now suddenly, less than two minutes into the second half. Yeah. Hillsborough hasn't had much issues with their field goals so far in this game. It's Wasserman on the extra point. One is up and good. Extends the lead. Now 17 to three. Hillsborough takes the lead right back. And Central is trying to keep back in this game. The Red Devils are going to have to dig deep here. Positive is they've moved the ball so well on offense, you feel like even though they're behind, they can definitely get a score. Yeah, and this is just what we were talking about before the game even started. This is going to be really ground heavy of a game for both teams. And it would be coming down more to defense. And we'll, we'll see how Central's game plan changed now with them probably not playing as Emma. Or at least if they are, maybe not as much as they started off with. So Darren Mayer is back deep for the Red Devils to receive. is away. High, fielded by Mayer at the 10. Runs up the middle. He has a running lane now, cutting it back to this left side. Mayer across the 40 to the 45, taken down near the 50-yard line. Big return by Darren Mayer. The spark this Red Devils team needed. Yeah, Darren Mayer not having much issues the entire game with uh, returning kicks. Constantly getting at, at least 25, 20, 25 yards per return. That one is a huge one. Try with a stiff arm there. They just got dragged out of bounds. Now they're about 49-ish. Will Azema is back on the field for Hunter and Central. He's the tailback. Yeah, still we're still unsure of uh, what it was that happened to Azema and how severe it could be. The I formation, Totten hands off to Azema, up the middle, fights forward for a gain of two, maybe three yards. Second down. We saw uh, to the closing end of the first half was Azema really started to get into the rhythm and had a lot of uh, big runs and of course having an injury probably takes it back a, li a little bit but also just halftime a break changes the mindset up for both teams. Second and seven from the Hillsborough 48. Totten under center takes the snap fakes the handoff to Azema he's going to run it himself avoided one man Gets close to the first down marker, down at about the 38. It'll yeah. be sh third and short. Yeah, uh, Totten earlier in the year really saying, going out and saying that he was more of that pass-heavy quarterback and he, he was really proud of his arm. Really showing off the moves there, avoiding one defender and gaining about seven or eight yards there. So third down and a long one. Jones and Herb are the wide receivers. Azema is the tailback. Totten takes the snap. Handoff left. Azema gets close to the marker. It'll depend on the spot. 
tackle at about the 39. That's right where the first down marker is. Yeah, seems like right, right about on the marker. They might be saying it's short. And that spot looks like it might be a little bit short. I would expect the Red Devils to go for it here. And they're calling for it again. Looked like on first glance that he picked it up at the spot. Didn't really do his Emma any favors. I think he's a little bit short. Yeah, it seemed like where Zemma got up from, what well, probably could have gotten that first down, but where the ball's placed seems a bit short, but we'll see how they mark it. Take it They're taking the card out. And it is. First down, Hunter and Central by inches. That's a huge change now for Central, being able to turn on downs. So first and 10 from the Hillsboro, 41. Potton is under center. Nine oh five to go here in the third quarter. He takes a snap, fakes the handoff. He's under pressure and he's going to get sacked back in central territory at around the forty-nine. A uh, huge play there. I mean, that brings up the whole thing that we've been talking about the entire game with showing that they can run with anybody. It kind of starts settling on the defense that maybe he's running, maybe uh, Totten's just going to keep it and run with it, and that one he was trying to throw it, but the defense didn't take the bait. So second and 20, loss of 10 on the sack. Don't think we'll be seeing many run plays here for the rest of at least this downs. Now three wide receiver set as Totten's out of the shotgun. Back to throw, looking for Zemma. And he's gonna get brought down again for another sack by Hillsborough. Yeah, that one's even a mixture of <laughs> of Hillsborough getting through the offensive line and Totten having a lot of time back there and his receivers just not being able to get open. So third and long. I think as this game's gone on, more and more, more pressure's gotten to Brad Totten. Yeah, we saw earlier, Totten was able to get some runs in and now they're, they're really spotting that out focusing that he could run and yes. even when he throws he's still he's still having a lot of pressure on him third and 25 Totten time to throw throws it right looking for Nashawn Jones good coverage there by Amakwa incomplete fourth down 25 central pumped it away yeah it seemed like a five or six man rush there at Hillsborough Central was able to guard him off for a while and give Totten a lot of time in the pocket and throws just a little bit out. And I feel like uh, in that situation, even if he did catch it, he still would have been a few yards short. She might have given him a better, uh, easier punt. Schwer will punt it away. Anthony Scanelli is the return man for the Raiders. Punt's going to bounce, take a 100 central roll. Inside the 10, it's going to roll all the way down to about the seven yard line. That's a second punt here that's been that's gone in favor of Central. Inside the 20, that one marked probably gonna be about the seven yard line. That's a huge punt, especially kicking it at about a 35 yard line. Being able to get across the field and now putting Hillsboro in a troubled area. We have seen Central in almost the exact same spot, and Nazema had a huge run that brought him down the field. Hillsborough trying to copy that. From their own seven, it's first and ten Hillsborough. Marched down the field and scored on their first possession of the second half. Ramsey's under center. Levinitis is the tailback. Man in motion. Hand off Levinitis up the middle. Has running room, cross the 15. Gain of eight, second and short. 
Yeah, just a run like that is all that Hillsborough needs. Now they can relax a bit. And now their, their weapons are all there of passing, keeping it around with Ramsey, anything like that. But so far, it seems like they've. It seems like Hillsborough has really been focusing on either Ramsey or Levinitis here. Second and one. Ramsey lost the ball. It's loose. I'm sure if he lost the ball, if he just got hit or something. It seemed like trying to leave, he got grabbed and hooked and went right down to the ground. That's more of a wasted down. Still Hillsborough's ball. Be third and short. Hillsborough with a 17 to 13 lead over the Red Devils. Six minutes to go here in the third quarter. Yeah. Third and three is a huge. This could be a huge play for Central if they can stop him. Ramsey under center. Looks over to the sideline. Handoff left on the reverse out to about the 30 yard line. There's Levinitis on the carry again. Last year rushed for over 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, and he missed some time due to injury. This year through three games, almost 500 yards rushing. He's eclipsed that mark today. First and 10 from the 21. Handoff again, Levinitis. Nothing there this time, though. Ball seemed to be out. Hillsborough, they're either saying he's down or Hillsborough jumped on it anyways. That was more of the stop that they wanted last play. But you can't ever deny a short gain, gain on defense. Second and eight. From their own 22. Ramsey this time out of the shotgun. He's back to throw. He's gonna run with it. Breaks through some tackles, close to the first down marker. It does seem like they gave it to him. It is indeed a first down. I feel like with a, with a quarterback like Ramsey, or at least how he's playing today, it seems like he's not as confident in throwing as he's just can. You know, There's a run. bad snap. Ramsey's just going to fall on it, play it safe. Big loss on the play, second and long. Yeah, of course, he doesn't want to go and try to play it and then potentially lose even more yardage or just throw it away or anything like that. So just laying on it and taking those yardage. Now about... Third and 20, 21, they say. Second and 21. Second and 21. Sorry. Ramsey's now, Justin, the quarterback. Now, just in a similar situation that Central was earlier. Out of the shotgun, back to throw. Has a receiver, but the pass is low. Now they're going to call it complete. Didn't Looked like complete. that ball caught the ground, touched the ground. Their they're going to call that a catch? It did seem like it did, it did hit the ground from this point of view. It seemed like it bounced a bit. That is a but tough call. It did seem to have a referee right there. From our vantage point, it looked like that ball definitely touched the ground. Nevertheless, a fresh set of downs for Hillsboro. No, it's not. That's my bad. But now it will be. Across the 50 and to the 30. 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Hillsboro. Thomas and Marqua, they extend their lead. That one just seemed to be pure speed from Marqua. Yeah, that was just pure speed by Marqua there, and as after the reception, just able to cut across field. And Central had was no shot of getting catching up to him. After what looked like was an incompletion, call the catch. The next play, Makwa takes it the distance. Extra point is up and it is good. It is now 24 to 13 Hillsboro. Game that was once 13 to three Red Devils. 21 unanswered points by the Raiders. 
not something the Central wants. And they just need to get back on offense now and try to get something going. Central's going to try to make sure that doesn't ever happen again. And of course, this team has really shown off that they're a triple threat and they could be used and they could use any part of the field of keeping it with Ramsey, giving it to Levinitis, or you just passing it around. Uh, three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Now Central really need a score in this possession, down by 11. So Wasserman gets set to kick it away. Try to see another uh, big trainer by Mayer. Darren Mayer is back deep for the Red Devils. It seems like each time is kind of getting farther and farther with this return. This one's short. Looked like he sliced it. Feel it at the 20. Fighting his way forward to about the 30 yard line is Jacob Erb. That's where the central offense will set up. Yeah, unsure if that was on purpose or not. But pro uh, worked out mostly for Hillsboro. As central's just now at the 30. For the most part in the first half, the Red Devils defense was really doing a good job stopping Hillsboro on offense. But two touchdown drives to start the second half. Now Central's really in desperate need of a score. Totten is under center, first and 10 from the 30. Takes the snap, handoff is Emma, running right, tackled after a short gain, maybe one. Second and nine. So we've seen a lot of for, uh, formation wise from Central is just two wide receivers out. And that's probably mostly because they like to uh, run through their run game with a Zemma and every once in a while a Totten. But just similar to this now, we each have two wide receivers out. On second down, Totten will throw ahead of Owen Bill. Very easily could have been intercepted. Third and long. And that's another one of the probably downsides of this central offense of focusing through the run game and focusing through Azema. You're not really giving Totten too many times that he can throw it. And so you can't really expect him to go and be perfect every throw when you do end up passing it. In the first half of the central offense, there's a real rhythm to it. Whether they're passing it, running it, everything was flowing very well. The play calling was good, but they haven't really got going here in the second half. It's third and nine. Totten's back to throw. Looks over the middle. Has a receiver. It's Darren Mayer, but he's going to be tackled short of the marker. Second straight three and out to start the second half for the Red Devils, and Schwer will punt it away. Yeah, Central still trying to find that rhythm. And we've seen it happen. We've seen, we've seen it come to them late in, that, in the first half, and they just probably hope to not see it coming there late in the second half when they're too far behind. Anthony Scanelli's back to receive. Schwar will punt it away. High kick towards this near sideline. It'll bounce out of bounds at the 20 set, 28 yard line. 29. That's where Hillsborough's offense will have their third sequence of the second half, scoring touchdowns on both their previous drives. Yeah, it seems like all around it was either the half, it was either halftime or uh, the kickoff ending the second, uh, the first half, really just seemed to take the energy out of Central, and they haven't been able to get a rhythm going on either side of the ball. You could sense right when that play happened that was a turning point in this game. 
Low snap off the foot. Brito's on it. Hunter Central ball. Sal Brito recovered it on the bad snap. Hit off of Ramsey's foot. Brito dives on it, and now Central has the ball right back. Yeah, Sal Brito got to the ball, got to that ball quick off the snap. Being able to see that that was down and quickly jump on it. He jumped on it and just blocked the blocked Ramsey out. It's exactly the kind of play the Red Devils needed with 1.29 to go here and in the third quarter. And Mike gave the energy back to Central. Now the offense needs, needs to come out here and finish it off. First and 10 from the 27. Cotton under center, hands it off. The counter play to Azema. Fights his way up the middle. A flag is thrown. The ball's out. But Carrion dives on it. They're going to say Azema was down. We'll check in what the flag is. Yeah, plays him mostly dead by the time he saw the ball come out. He seems holding. It's going to be a hole on 100 Central. That'll be moving back 10 yards. Not sure what they're talking about now. They'll be taking the ball back. So first and 20 now from the 37-yard line. A good start to the to the drive and not really the play you want. Now you're already back, first and 20. Two wide receivers lined up to the right. First and 20 from the 37. Totten fakes the handoff. He's under pressure, gets hit hard, got the throw away. It's incomplete. Looking for Bakarian. But Totten's really been under a lot of pressure here, Scott, in the second half. Yeah. It's the uh, Hillsborough has been getting to the line. They just are putting so much pressure on him because they know that he might run it, and so you can't just have that play. Uh, the play fake really doesn't seem to be getting Hillsborough anymore as it did at the beginning of the game. This offensive line was one of the big question marks coming into the season. At times, they're really young, but at times they've looked really good. At times they've looked, you know, pretty poor. Yeah, we've had a few times where they where Hillsborough has been able to drive right through the offensive line. And then another time, like we had the third and 20 earlier, they gave Totten so much time in the back. On second and 20, Totten has time to throw over the middle. Off the hands of Jacob Erb. It's a good throw by Totten, just couldn't be corralled by Erb. Third down and 20, less yeah. than a minute to go in the third quarter. Erb is one of their more consistent receivers. And that one was just off his hands that he couldn't pull that one in. He's been sure-handed throughout the early part of this season. Probably one of the more reliable receivers on this central team. But it's third and 20 from the 37. Totten back to throw, under pressure, steps up. Over the middle, that's high. And Mayer got a hand on it, incomplete if he did. If he didn't, the ball probably would have been picked off. Yeah, just as we've, as we've been seeing a lot now, it was quick pressure to tie in in the backfield. So after the fumble by the quarterback Ramsey on the bad snap, recovered by Brito, Central looked primed to take some points back here in the third quarter, but three and out, the holding penalty on first down. And off the pumped it away. Missed opportunity here for the Red Devils. Now there's just about 50 yards to the end zone. Got to try to keep this one inside of okay. Give the worst field position possible over to Hillsborough. Scanelli's back deep to return. Schwar tries to place a punt. It's a good one. It'll die at about the 10 yard line. That's exactly what Central wanted. If they could, they could have got they, they would have wanted it a bit closer to the end zone, but 10 yards away is perfectly fine for them. It's defense again, right back on the field 
That's the third three and out for the Red Devils out of three drives to start this half. Looks like a revamped Hillsborough defense. This seems to be a mixture of both the central offense just not getting something going and that Hillsborough defense being able to shut down Totten, not giving him much time. On first down, Ramsey hands it off. Levinitis with the juke. And he gets forward for about a gain of eight. We talked to Coach Ransone about what he was expecting from Hillsborough. He compared Levinitis to Brian Westbrook, the Eagles one, former Eagles running back. You can see there on that juke why he made that comparison. be second and about three. Second down three, but we'll get to the end of the third quarter here. Hillsborough 24, Hunter and Central 13. You're watching Red Devils football on HCTV and listening on WCVH. 12 minutes on the clock for the start of this fourth quarter. Tall task ahead of the Red Devils. Yeah, you got 12 Scott. minutes to get 11 points and get back into this. Very, very much possible, but unsure of the confidence that uh, this team has going, of course, you, as you said, three and out on almost every drive in, that, in the third quarter. We need to find a way to get this offense going. Second and three from the 18 as we start the fourth quarter. It seems like the whole game, three yards haven't, hasn't been much of an issue for Hillsborough. Early we had a third and three, and Hillsborough was able to run right through it and get the first down. Now they have even more opportunities to get that. So second and three, Ramsey under center. Takes the snap, hands it off, Levinitis pushes the pile forward, close to the first down marker, maybe a bit short. Does seem to be short. It's gonna be third and one. Red Devils defense really in desperate need of a stop. Yeah, a stop here would really give even more of an opportunity, another chance to this offense to get back into the groove. Oh, it seems like they're giving a first down out. It seemed like from where we were, one ref didn't seem to give it to them, and the other ref did. And they seemed like they conferred, and now it's back in first and ten here. Fresh set of downs for Hillsboro from the 18. Levinitis on the handoff. Fights his way. Doesn't get back to the line of scrimmage, though. Will be second and long. Yeah, a good stop there for Central. Probably what they needed. More just to stop Levinitis from him constantly getting these like eight yard gains every once in a while. A big stop like that will really help them. We talked in the open a little bit about how the Raiders are 3-0, but their schedule they've played is a lot weaker than the schedule Central's played. But as we've seen here today, you still have to win those games. And Hillsborough have looked like a very good team out there today. Ramsey on the play action. Floats a ball. It's complete across the 30. A truck there. Close to a first down marker. And it is, they'll move the chains. Another fresh set of downs for the Raiders. Yeah, as you were saying about the games, just because they were playing as an easier opponent didn't mean that it was really any easier. So they'd be able to come out every game and play well. That's what Hillsborough has been doing. Ramsey under center, 
Hands it off on the reverse, running right. Big gain there, another first down for Hillsboro. It's like Levinitis again on the reverse. It seemed like Luke Picarian got through pretty early on that, seeing that happen. Got a hit off, but wasn't able to actually take Levinitis down. And that kind of shows you more of the power that Levinitis is carrying with them. First and 10, Hillsborough are throwing 46. They'll throw the screen. It's caught. No gain on the play, though. It's Thomas Amonqua. So second and nine. Ramsey out of the shotgun. He's going to run it himself to the right-hand side, but there's nowhere to go. Big tackle there by Josh Davis Physic. Big stop there. Stopping the momentum of Hillsboro. We'll be third down and long. Under 10 minutes to go here in the first, fourth quarter with Hillsboro up by 11. Third and long, Ramsey out of the shotgun. He's gonna run the draw play to Levinitis. There's nothing there though. Yeah, Hillsborough just trying to probably catch Central off guard. It didn't work there. And Central was able to cut down only about a yard or two on that run. So the Red Devils will get the ball back. Down by two scores, nine minutes to go. A tall task, but definitely doable. Doable, yeah, but of course, we'll have to see this central offense really start showing up again. Oh, this one blocked. And it's blocked. Recovered by Central at the 30-yard line. They'll have some great field position to work with here. That was a huge play by Central. Getting back at Hillsborough for those past uh, field goal blocks. Number 42, Brendan Stangle, recovered the, uh, the block punt. So great field position here for the Red Devils. The defense doing their job again. They got the fumble on the last series. Now the block punt. Special teams at work. We'll see if the Red Devils can finally get their offense going here in the second half. Three possessions, three three and outs. Yeah, it seems like so far in this game, Central has had, had parts of their game really perfected their special team seems to be doing really well and more of their offense just seems hit or miss Todd will hand it off to Azema breaks through the first level close to a first down at about the 20 yard line gain of eight from Azema on the hesitation second and two from the 20 yeah it seems like what Azema went through at the end of that first half wasn't uh, a major enough setback to really change his game much. They still seem confident enough to put him, put him in and put him into traffic. Totten fakes the handoff to Azema. Looking for a receiver, he's going to throw it. Jones slipped at about the five-yard line. That'll go out of bounds and complete. So it'll be third down and two from the 20. 7.58 to go here in the fourth quarter. And we didn't see as much pressure on Totten. There was a few Hillsboro players at about the line of scrimmage, but they didn't seem like they wanted to attack him, probably afraid of him taking off and running. Just staying conservative like that resulted in, in just a, a slight completion. Third down and two, a big third down. The I formation for the Red Devils. Totten hands off to Azema. He's going to plunge his way forward for the first down. Fresh set of downs for Central. It's the first first down of the second half here for the Red Devils. Comes with 7.45 to go in the fourth quarter. 
but it is still, and now they're on about the 21, or sorry, about the 16. Again, the eye formation. Totten under center. Takes a snap, hands off to his M, looks to squeeze through the hole. Short gain, maybe four or five yards. Second down. But already Central moving the ball a lot better on this possession than they have previously. Yeah, especially already starting with great field position with the block punt. Central's not stopping. Under seven to go. And of course, if you're having a team like Central here who's, who's more relied on their run game. And, and you have to get a certain amount of score in, in a short time frame. Running just runs out, uh, will keep the clock going. Another handoff to Azema. Close to a first down, maybe two yards short. Let's see how they mark him. Another big third and short coming up for the Red Devils. Third down. The eye formation for the Red Devils. Totten takes the snap, hands off to Azema up the middle. See if he gets it. Got close to the marker. We'll see where they spot it. Looks to be short. And if it is, that brings up the, the real more co uh, difficult coaching choice of kick it, and it seems like they will be. And Chris Schwartz jogging onto the field. If he makes this, it'll be an eight-point game. Yeah, that's still the issue there. Of, and now Central has just called timeout. I'm not sure I agree with the decision to kick. Yeah. Kicking game is a bit of a question with Schwer. It's been a lot of blocks from, on the kicks by Schwer. He hasn't been really proven that he can get them up. Yeah, I think seen, they have to go for it. We've already seen two, two kicks here, and I feel like I, also, I have to agree with that of going for it going and having a kick and then if he does make it you're down eight that's still a touchdown another touchdown and a two-point conversion which is not as easy to come by only one yard to go and you have Azema as your tailback you have Bakarian you have Donahue as your fullbacks it's a lot of muscle you would think those guys can get one yard yeah we've seen consistently um, Azema's been getting yardage he hasn't really got, gotten stopped at or behind the line a whole ton this game. The offense will stay on the field. And Fourth like and one, biggest play of the game yet. This might just be Totten just trying to reach it over. Totten hands off to Azema, running left, dives his way forward. Did he get there? It's going to depend They're on the both spot. Going against each other. Both players Turned pointing around. in opposite directions. We'll see where they spot it. Nobody's really gotten off the field at all. It seems like Hillsborough disagree with that call. It seems like they might give him the first down. I think they did give him the first down as neither team has moved. It seems like they're also going to pull out. They're going to pull out the chains and do a measurement. This is what, third measurement of the game so far? Yeah. This is crucial, the biggest moment of the game yet. He's short, turnover on downs, Hillsborough will take over, and that might be it for the Red Devils here today. Yeah, now it's just, just about five minutes left. There's not much that you can do being down 11. And the defense and the special teams have done their job. They've gotten two takeaways here in this second half. You know, even if they didn't get it, you feel like Central had to go for it there. Yeah, even a field goal still puts him behind, uh, pretty far away behind. And the field goal is no sure there. thing. Yeah, especially with how, how it's been going for Central. There's 5.19 to go here. Timeout Red Devils. Interesting, they're going to need those timeouts later to stop the clock. Especially down by 11. Yeah, it kind of it kind of shows you the uh, 
where Central thinks this game is going. I mean, very much. Uh, there's probably one, maybe two more drives for Central in this game, and they really have to have to capitalize on that. Especially if they can get their defense and special teams going as it has been, and just been so powerful. I mean, we still can't can't miss up that the defense has let up about 24, and one of that was special teams. But besides that, mostly in this fourth quarter, we've seen a strong special teams and a strong defense. I would expect Hillsborough to just keep the ball on the ground now. You would call it a tale of two halves a little bit, but the kick return at the end of the first half really gave all the momentum Hillsborough's way. Yeah, it was so close to being in Central's favor, and if it was, I think I would have changed the game completely. Flag on play. I think too many men on the field, they call it. And this offense, which in the first half looked so fluid, Zemo was running it well, Todd was running it well. Todd was throwing it well, he was finding his receivers. But it's really not from the same in the second half. Good defensive adjustments by Hillsboro. And Central really haven't been able to get anything going on offense. All 13 Red Devil points coming in the first half. Now it seems to be the ball spot at about the three yard line. Handoff up the middle. Short gain on the play, second down. Referees are talking something over here. Oh, that's Offsides on Central. <laughs> that's going to start bringing the penalty they just had earlier back up. Hillsborough had the too many men on the field. Now that holding just brings them right back up. That was just similar to what you were talking about before with the, the mental. Um, the, like the mental errors, and we've only we haven't seen many, but it seems like when Central does make them, it's when they have the opportunity to uh, have the advantage. Coach Ransone said if they were going to have a chance against Hillsborough, another flag thrown. Coach Ransone in our conversation earlier this week said if they're going to have a chance against Hillsborough, they're going to have to fix these little mental errors. He said it's just a matter of lining up correctly sometimes, which we've seen Central struggle with here today. He said the willingness is always there with this team. It's just little mental mistakes, and we've seen that here today. So we'll see what the flag is. This seems to stay, of all sorts, to say where it is. A back first and 10. From the nine. Five, 10 to go. Those are milking this clock as much as they can, up by 11. <laughs> Ramsey takes the snap, hands off, Levinitis up the middle. Gain of a yard, maybe two, second down. Under five minutes to go. Yeah, Hillsborough are already able to chew off about 30 seconds of the clock in just one play. So that five minutes and 19 seconds. There's, there's no reason for try the, to get by through fast. There's no reason for the Raiders to put the ball in the air here when they have you know Rams you can run at quarterback and Levinitis at tailback. Yeah, but just off of that one play, the central defense is ready for that run and he's been shutting him down as much as possible. Only give him two on that now, there's a flag. Another like flag, sides. and like we talked about before, lining up correctly, it's gonna be another encroachment penalty on Hunter and Central. Coach Ransone is not happy about it. And this could be a mixture of unhappy about the call and just frustration on his team. To really, like, you just gave that up. You know, at a second and eight, now it's 
second and three. Ramsey's the quarterback. Second and three. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff. Ramsey's going to keep it himself. Donahue is one of the central players to be able to tackle. There. Ramsey seems to be down. Seems to just get him maybe in the head area and he got knocked down for a bit. Ramsey's not back into it. Already now, down to only three and a half minutes left in this fourth quarter. Clock continues to tick. It'll be third down and short. I do almost have to applaud Hillsborough here for being able to control the being able to control the time so well. Now third and two. Third and two. Ramsey hands off. Levinitis slips. They're going to say his knee was down. He's short of the marker, so the Red Devils will get the ball back. That could be a big play, but I, I still feel like. Timeout, 100 Central. Stop the clock with 2.55 to go. Scott Hills, <laughs> Hillsborough's a tough team, we know that. But you feel like this is a game that the Red Devils had their chance to win, and they could have definitely won. I feel like they very much had their chances to win this. And they just had times where mental errors, as we talked about, or at times where just uh, we had flaws in our either offense or defense, or even as we had the, the one kickoff on our special teams, where we just kind of slowly gave the game away. And even something even just as simple as just two extra points. That's two points. That would make this now just a six-point game. Now or Hillsborough not. will call a timeout. They'll talk things over before the punt. Well, it's not quite over yet. Still 2.55 to go. But Central only with one timeout left. Down by 11. Yeah, we just saw uh, Hillsborough take almost two minutes off, uh, about two and a half minutes off the clock, just in one drive, and they end up not even getting a first down. If Central can get a quick touchdown, it's still, Hillsborough still is, very much has the opportunity just to milk the clock out. So the offense has really had their chances here in the second half. They've had a good field position off the fumble, the botch snap that Brito recovered on defense in the block punt. Both those drives started in Hillsborough territory, deep in Hillsborough territory, and Central got no points out of it. Yeah, we've really seen just the change in offense from Central. Just hasn't been as, as aggressive as they were at the beginning of the game. That was another close Punch one. Punch low. Oh. Mayer fields it on the run. Cutting right. Just drag down. Drag down to 25, but good field position for Central. 2.45 to go. They we've need a quick this. score and probably an onside kick. Now we've seen this a lot this half. Already in, inside the 30. And now all Central has to do is just 25 yards. Special teams on both sides have been so important in this game. It's often overlooked, but... Yeah, even from somebody like Central, and we had... Uh, we had uh, many opportunities in our, our special teams, and we haven't really gotten... I mean, the special teams touchdown like Hillsborough has, but just the yardage that we've gained off of that and, and the position we've put our offense in is really important to this game. So Central down by two scores. Have first and 10 from about the 24 yard line. We move it up all the way up to the 12 yard line. As a matter of fact, so a golden opportunity here for Central to strike quick. 
It was a horse collar tackle on Hillsboro on the punt. So a huge chance here for Central from the 11. Yeah, all Central needs is a quick TD here. Totten under pressure, steps up, throws right. That ball's incomplete. Looking for Jacob Erb. Again, Totten under pressure quickly, had to step up in the pocket. Incomplete second and 10. Yeah, Central now with really no opportunity of getting that first down because getting that first down would stop the clock. There's almost no point of get, doing it. You get to two yard line, you can probably get to the end zone. 2.39 to go. As Emma's to, to Totten's left, he's out of the shotgun. Two wider receivers to each side. He takes the snap, he's back to throw. They're going to throw a swing route to Azema. Looking to get to the edge. Back to the line of scrimmage and out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. Yeah, we're already seeing this offense already lacking on, on their field position they've gotten from their offense. Third and ten. Like that play was just trying to get some positive yards on the swing route by his own, but if he was, if he was tackled inbounds, a large chunk would have come off the clock. Still 2.30 left, third and 10. Central in desperate need of a touchdown. Totten takes the snap, he's back to throw. Finds Jones, gain of maybe five. Now it seemed to be tipped maybe by one of the Hillsborough linemen. Still caught though by Jones, getting him Gets them within a little bit more now, but. Fourth and five. And they're going to bring Schwar on to kick it to try and get this to be an eight point game. We've seen the kick from Schwar blocked before. This field goal is certainly no gimme. But if he makes it, it's an eight point game. Central will then need to get the ball back from quickly. Where the pressure's coming from, right in the middle. The snap is spot. The kick's on the way. It is wide to the right. And that is probably going to do it here from Stewart Field. Yeah, now just 2.10 left, or 2.18. Central one to get the one, try to get a field goal there, get within eight, and that's just one play could change the game instead of risking it, but still didn't turn out as they wanted it to. Hillsborough now get it on there on 20. Like we talked about before, special teams, we have the blocked extra point, that missed kick from Schwar, which probably put this game away. The big kick return by Hillsborough. Had a blocked punt. Some good punt returns. And that's really shaped this game. Yeah, all around we've seen great special teams from both sides. And that, yeah, as you said, really shaped how the game's been going. Central will be a little disappointed in how they've defended on special teams, how, they've, how their kicks have gone, how they've defended kickoffs. The handoff there from Ramsey's to Levinitis. It's going to be a loss on the play, but the clock's going to keep ticking. Timeout, 100 Central, they'll just stop the clock with 2.09 to go. They're going to need a miracle now. Yeah, not much will probably, will probably stop Hillsborough here unless a fumble happens, miss snap, as we've seen earlier. Second and 12 for Hillsborough. As it stands, we'll move to 4-0 on the season. Central will fall to 1-3. It'll be their third consecutive loss as well. No timeouts left for Central. Ramsey's the quarterback, hands it off on the sweep. Running right, out of bounds. Yeah, they call it out of bounds. No, they're saying, they're saying run the clock. And the clock is going to keep running. Risky move there. But just not, get, not getting out, out of bounds there. Just close enough that Central could have gotten him out and stopped the clock. But now... Hillsborough will keep the clock running. 
it was a Manqua on the jet sweep. Third down and 11. Clock trickling down, one minute, 20 seconds to go. Hillsboro by 11. Up the middle, the handoff to Levinitis. Solid gain of six. Not sure why the clock is stopped. Central have no means to stop the clock. Now, seems like refs are talking about something on that last play. They're signaling to run the clock, and it will be ran now. So Scott, as we, wind, as we wind down towards the end of this game, what's your assessment of the Red Devils' performance here today? Defensively, we saw some flaws around uh, in the first half. They let a few, uh, a few runs by, uh, and Marqua had the one, uh, had a screen there that he ended up taking all the way across the field. And other than that, they were, seemed pretty consistent. Near the end, they were able to stop the run game uh, in the third quarter, of course, letting up a few, uh, a few big touchdowns. And then offensively, we were more of the opposite of our defense, starting off and ending the first half extremely explosively, getting, getting a 13 points on the board, and they just haven't been able to do any, almost anything since that. And then special teams-wise, too, don't really hear that much uh, talked about much. We were touch and go. Our, our special teams defense was, was pretty good around. Our kicking was good. Uh, we let up the one uh, kickoff for a bring it back to a touchdown. But then our kicking is in our punting, and, and that was mainly good. And we were just a little bit rough on our field goals. We had two blocked, one missed. And that seemed more on probably the, the offensive line there and not as much on the kicker. I mean, there's not much you can do getting blocked. And a tail of two halves today for the Red Devils. This play, final play should do it. On fourth down, the punt. No one back to you for Central. to let it roll. It dies at about the 35-yard line. They'll stop the clock with 17 seconds to go. Yeah, there's really not much reason for Central to do anything at this point. Might just want to take a knee and just end it because we don't want to risk any uh, any injury on, on a on a play that really won't matter. So the Red Devils will fall to one and three after the opening night win at Saraville. At Saraville. Three straight losses to Ridge, Phillipsburg, and now Hillsboro. Next week they're at Franklin. In this early in the season, you hate to say it's a must-win game, but a Franklin team that was already beaten by Hillsboro this year. I feel like it's probably a must-win game. Yeah, Todd is going to throw it. Over the middle, deep. can't find Herb. Under 10 seconds to go. One, maybe two plays left. Central for days like this will have been shut out in the second half. Yeah, Central came out to a, a great start of the season, getting able, being able to get a big win against Sayreville, and then just from out, from that game, they just seemed to fall off completely, and, and just haven't been able to get the the type of play that they want. This was kind of a test game for the Red Devils. You know, nobody really expected them to win against Phillipsburg. Ridge is a very good program as Totten's back to throw. High, tipped, and incomplete with four seconds to go. This was the game where they needed to prove themselves. At home, Hillsborough's a good team, but the Central, they believe they're a good team too. Yeah, and they had good chances. They had, they, they overcame so, uh, some downsides of late in, the, in that first half, Zemba going down for a few plays. They really show that they could use the, their passing game, and then just in the second half, it hasn't been there at all. 
it seems that just Totten can't hit the exact spots that he needs to to his receivers. More than likely the last play of the game here. Four seconds to go. Totten takes the snap. Everybody down towards the end zone. There's the Going to heave one looking for about. Bill. Out of bounds. Zeros on the clock. That will do it here from Stewart Field. The final score is the 100 Central Red Devils 13. Hillsborough Raiders 24. Next week, 100 Central's at Franklin. They fall the 1-3 and three on the season. For Hillsboro, next week they're against home, against Bridge. They, they improved to 4-0. and oh, Disappointing game for the Red Devils, Scott. This is one game that Central really thought they had, they had a good chance at. And just a few flaws here and there just kind of take, took it away from them. For HGTV and WCVH, I'm Nick Guzman alongside Scott Shemanchek. Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed.